Hi folks, uh, today we're going to do a follow-up on the uh, uh, scepter monitor I bought, the um, 225W-1920. Now remember, um, I'll have a link at the very end to the original unboxing, which was pretty horrible, it was a bad day, it was hot. I was having trouble catching my breath. Um, I'm just going to go over a few things. Uh, Walmart still has this thing on sale, which is pretty cool. Uh, I still recommend it. It's big. It's got thin bezels. It runs really well. And uh, you can't go wrong for it's like 79 bucks and then tax and whatever state you're in and uh, uh, free two-day shipping you need a new monitor one an LED one with excellent viewing angles a tiltable screen all that good stuff uh, you can mount it to your wall uh, it's a good monitor so let's get to the intro thing and uh, this might be a few days before I get it posted up so well uh, we'll see um, what I come up with then that's coming up after the intro All right, folks, I'm back. Got my thoughts together, and now we're going to go over a, a, a quick follow-up on this. As usual, all links will be in the description below. Big Arrow, coming up. All right. Now, uh, they still have this for sale on the Walmart site. So, read the description below, of course. Um... And uh, they're still showing this version. This is not the version I got. Now, you might very well get this. And the display will be the same. Uh, the only big difference is going to be down here. Uh, see, this mount sits below this bump, which has our visa mounts. If you wanted to hang something from your monitor... Which I did, but I have learned to live without that. Uh, I was going to hang my little Zotac back there and you know, have it all in one PC. But that's neither here nor there. Let's, let's show you what I got. I got the Business Pro Series version from Scepter here. Uh, and... Uh, The difference being uh, the number of ports and the kind of ports on the back. Uh, it's a, still an LED 22-inch monitor. It handles VGA. Uh, it's got a really super cool tilt feature. You'll notice though, because of the bump here, you're not going to be able to hit those visa mounts unless you're just hanging it on a wall. You're not going to hang anything from it. I guess you could get some really long stanchions. But you'd still be running into that mounting deal there. So. It's got really good specs. All right. 22 inch. 16 to 9. Up to 75 hertz. Uh, I just run it at 60. Five millisecond response time. Standard, you know, 16.7 million colors, 50,000 hours of lamp life. Um, the on-screen display is a little harder to deal with than having on the bottom, but... Uh, it's around back, and I can reach down to the right and get to it. Mm. 
And it doesn't draw a whole lot of watts, 21.3 watts. It's exceedingly bright. It's very sharp. And it's a, a really big monitor. I mean, I'm super happy with it. The bezels are fairly small. Um, as I pointed out in the original video. So, I'll link the uh, previous video in the description below, of course. I'll also link it at the very end. A couple of cards are going to pop up. My recommendation is still, at 79 bucks, you can still get it over here at Walmart. That link will be in the description below, of course. Uh, no guarantee if you're going to get this one or the one I got, which was the... Uh, E225-1920 O3R, according to the label on the back, which is the one we're looking at here. Although some of the specs differ, it's been out there for a few years. Uh, has two HDMI inputs, uh, rather than the one they show at Walmart, which has an HDMI display port. And uh, VGA comes with a VGA cable, of course, um, and the you know, audio line in, line out ports. It's the only time you're going to get them speakers to work. Uh, I would have to still recommend this and say, if you can, if you need a new monitor, you want about a 22 inch buy this either one you get will be you know the display part will be the same clear sharp bright uh you just aren't going to get the second hdmi input if you get the one they show on walmart but i think uh, they're kind of throwing out anything they can get their hands on at this point uh this one Overall is yeah, the 1923 R. I think it's a better monitor overall. It's just exceedingly clear and sharp. It just it's a good 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 thing. That's what the back of the one I got will, would look like. So if you get one that looks like this, yeah, you've got this uh, business class one. So that's all I have. If you found this the least bit informative, helpful, entertaining, or just uh, don't care. Either way, give us a thumbs up, a thumbs down, leave some feedback. Subscribe to the channel. That would be super. And uh, hit the little bell. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.